Hello everybody, this is Alex the Sauropod Titan here with another uh, dinosaur review. Today I should, we know this isn't a dinosaur. Today I shall be doing a review of the um, Faber Co. Pteranodon. Now this is Pteranodon Sternbergii. Well again, it's also now just been changed to a new species I forget the name of. But again, it's, I don't know much about it, but again, we'll get on to the figure itself. Now, this is probably the first, this is probably the first, um, version of this Tyrannodon I've got. Like the first Sternbergi I Tyrannosaur I got. I also got the Papa one, but, you know, again, besides, uh, when I first got this figure, actually, it was a bit small and actually, oh, ah! Sorry, the, the base is not really well hold on, held on, so I'm gonna have to hold it with my hand. I gotta say, I do like this figure. It does resemble a bit like the Safari, um, Pteranodon they made a little while, like a long while ago with the uh, bendable wings. That will we'll get onto this sculpt, uh, with the head sculpt here. I like the colors they've gone with a bit of a orange on the top, like different shades of orange here, and then underneath you got like a almost pinkish, whitish underside. And you can, as you can see here, the uh, jaw is scooped up like this, uh, swooping up like this. You got the crest here, again, that's what makes this species a bit different from the other. You got the, uh, sorry if you can't get the good detailing of the figure. And don't worry, I will be doing a few review of the Brachiosaurus, so... I will probably do a review after I do a review of the Plesiosaur. And so again, if you want to see a review of any of these other favorite co-figures, let me know. As well, so again, don't be shy in the comments. I gotta say, I love the detail they went on here. So you also got the claws painted here. You got the fingers. You got the fourth elongated finger. Here, you also got the toes. Ah! Sock falling. Uh, the toes here. I like the pattern they went with. Uh, you got... I, I don't know really, really much to say about this figure. It's kind of like... It's a cheap figure as well. Uh, the wings are... Again, this one's more... Uh, Normal, and this one's kind of like underside, but I don't know if that's normal with all the Pteranodon figures, but who knows. And this is probably one of the cheaper figures, along like the Velociraptor and the Plesius, like the Velociraptor. This is one of the cheaper figures in the Favorite Code line. You can get this in, an, well, I got mine off of uh, Dean Jenkins. Sorry, Dean Jenkins. Sorry about that, stutter. And uh, there's not really much to say about this figure. Again, it's pretty good, though. Uh, I know also there is a uh, old version of this. Uh, I did place an order for that one, which again I don't know when that'll arrive. Probably the New Year or something like that. Yeah, I gotta say this is probably one of the best Pteranodon figures I actually have, and I would recommend picking it up. Even if, like, for example, you would want to get this figure if you had, like, this is probably one of the cheaper figures I would recommend getting because even though if you don't have enough, save the Brachiosaurus or say, um, the other ones, this is probably a good one to get. So, again, sorry about, sorry if this was just, oh, sorry if this was a short review, and sorry for all the mess-ups I've made on this video. Let's hope you guys still like it. Uh, so this has been my review of the, uh, Favorite Co. Pteranodon. And, uh, tomorrow I shall review the Plesiosaur, and then I shall do the Brachiosaurus. And I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.